I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Unjust Steward, the Hardest Parable. In the Bible, that's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the Higher Things app. It's available in every platform that you could think of. Get it. And donate. Link in the description. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. And our kids need this gospel. The, by far, hardest parable in the scriptures is the parable of the unjust steward. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't, um, um, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, and it, it, for many reasons, but it, it, our, our brains go <laughs> when it comes to it. Uh, the, the parable goes like this. There was a rich man who had a manager and the manager was accused of wasting his master's possessions. Um, so he called him, the, the, the manager called the steward and said to him, what is this I hear about you turning your account of your management because you can no longer be my steward? And the manager said to himself, what am I going to do? Since my master is taking the management away from me, I have, I'm not strong enough to dig. I'm ashamed to beg. I've decided what I will do so that when I'm removed from my management, I may receive, he, people may receive me into their houses. So summoning his master's debtors one by one, he said, um, how much do you owe? And he said, a hundred measures of wheat. So he said, take your bill, sit down and write 50. And he said to another, how much do you owe? He said, a hundred measures of, of, of first is oil, then wheat, take your bill and write 80. The master then commended the, the, the unjust steward for his shrewdness, for the sons of this world are more shrewd in dealing with their generation than the sons of light. I tell you, make friends with unrighteous wealth so that when it fails you, you may be received into eternal dwellings. One who is faithful in a little will be faithful in much, and one who is dishonest in a little will be dishonest in much, or unjust with much, both that, the same word. Um, if then you are not faithful with unrighteous wealth, how will we trust you with the true wishes? If you have been uh, faithful with that which is another, who will give you, if you've not been faithful with that which is another, who will give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters. Either he'll love the one and hate the other, or he'll be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And the next thing is, the Pharisees who were lovers of money heard these things, and they ridiculed him. So um, I think we'll take two weeks to do, the, two days to do this parable. First, base meaning of the parable has to do with money and its use. Um, you, you sort of on the surface see the problem with the parable. The problem with the parable is that it doesn't make sense to us. This, this, this steward seems to be dishonest. He seems to not be managing properly. He's accused of it. And so um, his master asks him to give account of his stewardship. And so what does he do? He starts giving away his, uh, his, his master's stuff. You, take your bill. It's, it's 100, write 80. You, take your bill. It's, it's 100, write 50. And it, just at the point where you think that the unjust steward is going to get, um, get condemned, his master con commends him. And that's the problem. Well, first off is, is money. We don't understand this, this because we don't understand money. Money for us is our most prized possession. We, um, so, if, yeah, so what's the best way of losing a friend? You loan them some money because they won't give your chief God back. Um, the problem with the parable is not the parable, it's us. We don't understand the true riches, and thus we get confused by the parable. We think that the unjust steward is giving away his master's stuff and so should be con condemned for stealing. Who is he to give his master's stuff away? And we don't take into account that the unjust steward actually understands what's going on. He's not gonna get anything, and so he gets something back. He's gonna lose, his master's not gonna get any of this stuff back. So, but by taking pennies on the dollar, he gets something back. And the world understands this. Creditors want something, 
even if they can't get anything. Get the whole thing. They want something. Only we in the church go, well, we are going to get every penny. And that's what Jesus says when he says, the sons of this uh, of the kingdom um, don't understand this as much as the sons of this world. That's the problem of the parable. And because we are so grasping hold of money, we miss the true riches of the parable. And that's why, like the Pharisees, we get grabby with Jesus. Um, we think that it's, it's a crazy parable. Now, tomorrow, now that we've got the base meaning of this parable, that it's just money. It's just stuff. You use it to make friends with others. Use it to, 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 to um, advance your job and your life because it's here today and it's gone tomorrow. It, it doesn't have any lastingness, not like the gospel. But because we have the base meaning of this parable, tomorrow we're going to take a look at the parable for what it truly means, the gift of the parable of the unjust steward and who the unjust steward is. Because when we understand that, we'll understand the gospel. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.